guys, how you doing? This is Mango etc. and I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece chapter 785 and I don't think this will take me too long so let's just go straight into it. We can break up the episode into parts really and that's the Dofi, Luffy Dofi fight which I'll talk about some more later. Uh, we've got the bit with Burgess, we found out that Burgess, we found out where he's been all these chapters and he's actually been watching the fight between Luffy and Dofi and we can see him there he's watching he's still watching the fight in the distance he's contemplating to himself should he go over and I also noticed that he's got like he's got some he's got some he's got some souvenirs with him basically he's taken something off of of Dofi's with him and he's talking and he's and what we can assume, because he's watched, still watching the fight, is that because we know that how the Blackbeard pirates are on this, on this devil hunting, devil fruit hunting scheme of things. So it's got me to wonder: is Burgess after Luffy, or is he after Dolphy? And maybe he might be even after both because they've both got impressive devil fruit powers. Look what Luffy has done with the gum gum fruit alone, gear second, gear third, gear fourth. And I don't even want to... I'm going to talk about Dolphy is... Dolphy's versatility. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Dolphy later. What he can do with his devil fruit alone is amazing. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Blackbeard does want these two devil fruits, especially Dolphy, because I'd say Dolphy's devil fruit is a, on a upper t more of an upper tier when it comes to devil fruits on the grand scheme of things then Luffy's one because we've got so many devil fruits so many and so much more to see so who knows what we'll see in the future but yeah we got that we also find out we've got the Frankie Frankie and the Tontatters they've noticed that the smile factory is started to move now it's not getting cut by the birdcage and they run into Zoro, Kinemon and, Ka and Kanjuro and Zoro tells them uh, that he's going to stop the birdcage and as he says that Frankie gets an idea so it looks like like we have a solid idea of how the, this birdcage is going to get stopped so it looks like it's going to be a combination of Zoro, Kinemon, Kanjiro and now Frankie and maybe even the Tontatas will help as well. The next bit of the chapter is just to you know we've got the King's speech and he's speaking to everyone in dress rose so he's telling them how that the suffering that's going on now actually didn't just start today it started 10 years ago and he's just basically encouraging them to stay alive because he believes that luffy is going to end end, end things once and for all that's what just happened what happens there and that's like the three bits of the chapter but now i'm going to start to talk about things more more specifically first thing I want to talk about is is Dolphy and he's just he's still impressing me like even even now even though Luffy's unleashed gear 4 he is still impressing me like he's taken all these hits and he's still he's still able to get up and he's still ready to go he's still he still wants more but the thing that impressed me the, the most today was Awakening. When I saw that, I was like, whoa, Awakening? And then I was like, oh yeah, Zoan, Zoan, Awaken Zoan. Then I remembered that and I was like, oh my gosh, so, so Paras, Parasima is that the type, the type that Dolphy is and Luffy is. So that type can do Awakening as well. I was like, wow. And I was like, so not only awakening is apparently for parasites similar types not only can you turn for so for dolphy not only can you turn you string turn himself into string sorry but you can turn his surroundings into string as well i'm like whoa that's too much that's too much that's too much he can do too much of his devil fruit he can actually do too much he's he's like not healed himself but you no know, done a patch job on, on himself so he can still fight and now he's turning his surroundings into string 
I'm just dreading the future. What if, like, I don't even know. Otto's got, Otto's got plans. He seriously has plans because I'm thinking, what if Luffy awakens and he's turning the surroundings into rubber? And then what, is he going to be bouncing off buildings and stuff? But well, that sounds rubbish, but I know Otto, Otto, he's got plans. He's got plans, so I don't know, I don't know. So when I read that, I was like, I, I, what's going on there? But yeah, that's impressive for, for Dolphy. Like, cause even now, even though Leafy's pulled out his gear for and he's like, yeah, it's time. But Dolphy's like, no, I'm still holding back. So yeah, we got that. In the chapter, we also learn some more things about Gear 4, which I'm going to talk about now. So basically, Dolphy tells us, in essence, that Gear 4 is the contraction and expansion of Luffy's body using Armin and Haki. That was nice to be told because I, I always assumed, from the last chapter, I always assumed that Gear 4, that Haki, was part of Gear 4, so without Haki, there was no Gear 4. But I, as I spoke to him, friends and family members as well, they thought, some of them thought that he could do Gear 4 without Haki. Mm -mm. Dolphy confirmed that for us in, in this chapter. We also find out through Law, Law says that Luffy is overusing Haki. I find this quite interesting because I didn't think that Haki would be something that you could overuse. I just thought like if you had the energy to use Haki then you can just boom you can just Haki up. So yeah so you can apparently you can overuse Haki so learn something new there. And also there's a time there's a time limit like Dolphy mentions this time limit, Luffy mentions the time limit as well so there is a time limit to how long um, Luffy can hold Gear 4, which makes sense. There was a time limit of sorts for Gear 2 when it was first introduced, and then, like, it was it was assumed from the get-go, really. And, like, it is hinted that there will be some sort of drawback when he comes out of it, which is also to be expected, because, you know, Gear 3, he shrunk back up, so it was expected, really. So, like, we can't, there's not much we can say about that. Also, what we get from Gear 4 is just more more destructive force that last. The, the Leo Bazooka, that was amazing. Like, Because if you think about it, they were in Central Dressrosa. And Dolphy got knocked to... He got knocked... He actually got knocked into level 1. He actually got knocked into level 1, which is... So it's basically flying the same distance, even not more. I was thinking... I was trying to figure out which one sent him off flying the was it the the uh oh, the well, whatever attack it was that sent him from the palace to central just rosa i was trying to figure out which attack sent him off flying but i don't think it's possible because obviously like of that because you could also incorporate into it like the angle of the hit so he might have been flying like i couldn't figure it out basically but i was trying to <laughs> But yeah, so the fight ends with that initial attack and Dolphy is knocked into the side of the side of level one and everyone is getting gassed because they think that the fight is over. Do I think the fight is over? No, I don't. I think Luffy's about to whip out gear five. I'm only <laughs> I'm only playing, I'm only I'm, I'm only playing. I don't think gear five will be revealed just yet, but in the future, I think there will be a Gear 5. I've, I've read some theories about Gear 5, and please, 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 if these fears are true, Gear 5 is going to be amazing. Yeah, but I don't think the fight is over. I think Luffy now will transform back into his normal form, and the fight will continue some more, a couple more chapters, mate, or maybe. I'll be, um, I'll be like... I'd be depressed if the fight was to end now. I wouldn't be satisfied with the ending. Like it'd be too, it'd be too, too, too soon. It's not, nah, not yet. But like it's... gear four, because we can see how destructive it is. 
and we can see that Dolphy can take gearful attacks but we know that Dolphy is scared of Kaido like a Yonko so I'm wondering just seeing Luffy now it just makes me wonder what can the Yonko do like just all oh, that like, that's just something else that, I, that, that that made me think of this what came out of this chapter for me really and truly there's something else that I'm going to talk about that made me think in this chapter like basically this chapter inspired a, a discussion video that I'm going to do in the near future so look out for that one it will be on my channel as soon as possible but yeah I think that's everything I've wanted to say regarding this chapter Tell me, your, as always, I'm interested in your thoughts and, thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're a fan of manga, etc. and you don't want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, why not, please? But there's fan pages as well, Facebook, Twitter. All the links are, are, in, or are always in the description box below, guys. So if you want, please go check those out as well. But most importantly, take care, enjoy the rest of your day.